Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around June 12th. We're just going to see what comes up. Now, keep in mind, this reading may or may not be for you. All right, take what resonates and leave the rest. And the timing is fluid. This reading is not sign-specific, and it's not time-specific, and I don't go by the book. So I had one guy comment yesterday, that's not what the card means. Go back to your book, buddy. That's not what the card means. You're an amateur. Amateurs, go by the book. Professionals, follow their gut. So this guy don't look very happy now, does he? He looks like he is miserable. A miserable individual right here that is very focused on stability. All he cares about is stability. He is selfish. Greedy. Wants to hold on. He's obsessed. He's an individual that is obsessed. Miserable. Very, you know, angry by the looks of things. This guy not happy. Stubborn. Not going to let go. Two cards. With the moon. Could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. It's in reversed. And the temperance card. So. This is a reality check. Proceed with caution. Truths are being revealed. Now the temperance comes after death. So this is healing. needing to accept and uh, accept a change a change has happened a death has happened something has ended somebody has gotten a reality check the truth has come out could be a Taurus I don't know why I said Taurus this could be Taurus could be a Virgo Capricorn Sagittarius Pisces Cancer now can't hide the truth. There's some self-deception here. This is self-deception, somebody needing to accept. Needing to accept that something has ended. Everything happens for a reason. That's why he's pissed. This guy is not happy doesn't want to accept, he doesn't want to believe the truth that something has ended. A need to go with the flow. This guy is, this is patience. Being patient. Patiently waiting for something. Somebody is patiently waiting but needing to accept that something has ended. What is this moon reversed? Oh, we got two more. Ooh, page of Swords reversed and the Three of Swords reversed. Now the Three of Swords reversed is... Somebody's in denial. Somebody is in denial here. And they're watching, they're stalking. They're caught off guard. This could be an individual that is very argumentative lies bad news we could have some mental health issues here with the moon reversed and the page of swords reversed uh, somebody is in denial wanting obsessed we have a person that is obsessed with holding on thinking if they wait things will change this isn't really over now this is I think there's a mental imbalance here perhaps maybe not be a troublemaker there's pain needing to leave the the hurtful situation behind but in denial definitely we have somebody that is obsessed they've gotten some sort of truth or some sort of reality check
bad bad message okay this right here the page of swords reverse somebody got some bad news somebody got some bad news that really really hurt them everything happens for a reason something ended for a reason it's time to leave that behind and focus on the future there's anger here this is anger so somebody's angry they're angry with what they have seen what has happened definitely they may still be in shock but needing to leave the past hurts behind is you need to let go of this sorrow let go of this pain heal it's a you know hmm. but we have obsession here obsessed mad angry upset Ooh, ooh, not accepting the truth. We have an, a, a, a person here that is, is not very awakened. Uh, they may be at a loss for words. There may be, there's some dishonesty here. There's a lack of clarity. They're not seeing clearly. Suffering. Um... Ace of Swords reversed. There's lack of clarity. Not very awakened as well. With the Moon reversed and the uh, Ace of Swords reversed, we got a person that's not very awakened. Now we have the Strength reversed on the floor. It just flew out. So the Strength reversed is a very controlling energy here. Wanting to be in control, feeling inadequate. Uh, we could have an individual that lacks respect for others. Very controlling with this card right here. And this is a loss of power. This individual has lost their power. But they're waiting. They're waiting to gain control again. Somebody is waiting. Because that's, that's waiting. They're waiting. They're waiting for the moment that they can gain control again. Hmm. Death, which I already knew. It's something has ended. There's been a profound change or something is ending. This is a uh, transition. It's a separation. It's a loss that leads to a new beginning. Everything happens for a reason. It's time to leave the past hurts behind and stop being obsessed. Somebody is obsessed with holding on to something that is hurting them. It's time to wake up. It's time to wake up and move on. Stop, uh, stop uh, letting yourself be controlled and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for something to come back from the dead. Once it's dead, it's dead. I'm sorry. So we do have a new beginning here because uh, endings lead to new beginnings. It's very doubtful that whoever has decided to end something, this is doubtful, is going to change their mind. Two of Pentacles reversed. This is lacking balance. Not accepting change. Somebody is biting off more than they can chew or they have bit off more than they can chew. They are unstable. They are insecure. They aren't looking in the right direction. You need to let go. Let go. Somebody needs to find their strength. This is the strength card reversed. To let go of something that has ended. It's time to be strong and accept and allow fate. We have a new beginning here as soon as you let go. As soon as you stop holding on. 
somebody, if somebody needs to leave those past hurts behind, stop living in denial. Instead of stalking and watching and being angry and upset. There's your new suitor. This is your new opportunity. This is an exciting opportunity to go in another direction. Look at it as such. Good news is coming. We have an individual here that feels like, you know, it, I can get whatever I want. If I just wait it out. If I just wait it out. You're wasting your time waiting it out. It's time to go in a new direction. Somebody's going to be receiving an offer from somebody new that is better suited for them. But there's a lot of anxiety and there's a lot of worry. We have an individual that is very stressed out. They're stressed out. They're stressed out because they can't let go. This individual is at the point where they can't do it anymore. Whoever is being... This person is obsessed. They are obsessed. They are obsessed with an individual that is very stressed out. That has a lot on their plate. That is looking for something else. This is bad news. Somebody has received a message or some information or some sort of uh, messages or whatever from an individual that is very much stressed out. This person feels like they're going to hold on for dear life. Not willing. They're in denial. We have an individual that's in denial. They're thinking that, you know, I can hold on. I am strong. I am strong. I can hold on. I can hold on. So we have a we have an individual that is fearless. This person is fearless. They fear like they feel like well, they're not seeing clearly for one thing. And they don't know the truth. They're not willing to accept the truth. Okay, they're not willing to accept that it's over. They're turning their back on the ending. It's like they just don't see it. They're biting off more than they can chew. They won't let go. They want control. So we do have... Now the Page of Wands is typically good news arriving from somebody that is very well suited for you. This individual... This individual that has been stressed out, that is no longer interested in the person that is obsessed, is getting a new offer. Just so you know. From somebody else. The person that is stressed out over the being obsessed over is getting a new offer. Okay, so just put that in your back pocket. We do have a new beginning. This is a new beginning after a separation. And I think it happens very suddenly. Okay? Everything changes. Everything changes. So I think we have a profound change here. Okay? We do. We have a profound change. Somebody is moving in a new direction. Away from a situation that was obsessive. Okay, it was an obsessive situation where there was a lack of clarity for sure. There was a lot of confusion. It was an illusion. It was stressful. 
But somebody, that's ended. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. Somebody is taking back their power after giving their power away. They've been under another person's control, but here, here they've been under another person's control, but here we have the change with a new beginning to follow. So there is a new beginning that is coming after a separation. And I think it's coming, uh, you don't even see it coming. I think it, it comes pretty fast. I feel like this person coming in is the reason. It's the reason why this other situation didn't work out. This is the reason. This person is very, the person coming in after the ending, after the ending is, is very, uh, it's a perfect match. Okay. I feel like it's a perfect match. I, th I feel like it's somebody that is very well suited. This person, um, well, let's get one more card is going to help to heal. They're going to help to heal. They're going to help to mend those old wounds. Uh, this is your new beginning. So there is somebody coming in. This person is very adventurous. This person likes to travel. Um, you probably have not communicated with this new person as of yet. Ooh, page of cups reversed. There's been some sort of blockage. There's been something in the way of this person coming in. It's this obsession. There's an unrequited love situation that, that has been blocking this new opportunity. That's the truth. We have a rejection here. We have one individual that is rejecting and blocking or has blocked this individual that is obsessed, that is obsessed, that is miserable, that is angry, that is uh, a troublemaker. This person is probably loud. This is being blocked. There's some sort of jealousy issues here. We have one individual that is, is uh, really, really, well, best word that I can say is stressed out, stressed out, not communicating, not wanting to reciprocate, not wanting to go down this path. Well, it feels like, and we have a couple different scenarios here. We have one person that just can't do it anymore. This is too much for me. It's too stressful for me. I, this is not what I'm looking for. It's not love. I'm not interested. You know, I don't want to do this. I don't want to move forward with you. I don't want to communicate with you. Blocking the communication, uh, causing this person to be angry and upset. And, and you know, uh, we have one individual that's wanting to uh, uh, move on while the other person is refusing to let go. So that's causing uh, some sort of chaos and upheaval in this dynamic. Meanwhile... Uh, the person that is holding on is thinking that if they wait it out, time will change everything. Well, I don't think that's the case. I really don't. I think this is an unrequited love situation where uh, one person just doesn't feel, you know, doesn't feel it. And I think that this person needs to accept, needs to accept and allow that this is over um, and find their strength to do so. But right now they're they're weak. Okay, we have a weak strength card reverse. They're weak. They can't they can accept and and that it's over. Okay, so they're, that's why they haven't let go yet. But there is a new suitor that is coming in as well. Okay, because endings lead to new beginnings. So we do have a new suitor that is coming in for this stressed out individual, which is. You know, I'm sure that this person that is hurting doesn't want to hear that, but that is the case. There's going to be an exchange, okay? There is going to be an exchange. Um, and I think it's going to cause some sort of... Uh, upheaval, okay? It's going to cause some sort of upheaval. Okay, 
All right, so the Two of Swords and the Seven of Swords. So this is a painful choice, a stressful decision. Being torn between two relationships, being caught in the middle, and also denial. Somebody has been avoiding the truth, blocking their emotions, and they've been unable to see the truth. They've been pretending not to see. We have an individual that has been pretending not to... Uh, pretending something is what it isn't. Okay? They're deceiving themselves. You have to wake up. Wake up. Take the blindfold off and see it for what it is. Stop cheating yourself of happiness by being obsessed with holding on to somebody that is not interested. There's a new suitor here waiting. That, and that's why there's a blockage. There's a new suitor here that is waiting for you to transition. They're waiting for you to let go and stop going back and forth and playing games with this person. There is a reason why this hasn't worked out. Somebody is cheating themselves of something new. Anyhow, anyhow, I feel like what we have here is we have an obsessed individual that is in denial. This person is in denial and I think that they're about to get a reality check. I think they're about to get a reality check because the person that they are obsessed with is about to have an invite or an offer from somebody else and they may feel like they're being cheated on you know they may say this person's cheating on me but the other person has already let go okay so there's a new suitor coming in for uh, the person that let them go you know what I'm saying so the obsessed person is going to get the reality check when they realize that the person that they are holding on to has truly let them go and is uh, going out with somebody else or something like that. Um, I think that's what's coming. I think that's what's coming. I think we have an ending that is leading to a new beginning. If you're in a married commitment and you're all happy, I don't know why you are watching tarot readings. I really don't. Um, we do have a new beginning here. We have an exchange. We exchange one from the other. This is the reason the other one didn't, let, didn't uh, work out. We have a new suitor that is coming in for this individual that is uh, wondering if they made the right decision. This person is thinking, did I make the right decision? Did I make the right, oh my God, did I make the right decision? Yes, because there's somebody else. There's somebody else. They're, they, you did make the right decision. So... We also have one, one other individual that is lying to themselves. They're in complete denial. They're deceiving themselves by hanging on and they need to let go. So there's another suitor here. There is another suitor here. Um, so that's what I have. I feel like uh, if there's going to be an exchange and somebody is going to be receiving a message or an offer or an invite from somebody that uh, they probably don't expect. This is not the one that left you or is obsessed. It's somebody different. Good luck.